Welcome to Movie Alpaca's Movie Reviews. And remember, kids, nothing's impossible. I used to bullseye womp rats in my T-16 back home, and they're not much longer than a YouTube movie review. This week we'll be reviewing the 2011 low-budget sequel to Apollo 13, Apollo 18. What's that? Uh-huh. Okay, I'm being told that this is not the sequel to the famous Tom Hanks movie, but a completely separate film. And also that the budget was closer to $5 million, which by no means is little. Uh, this uh, really changes my review around. Okay, well, well, Apollo 18 is about a secret moon mission that was recorded for the Department of Defense. When two astronauts land on the moon, they find not only a dead Russian cosmonaut, but also a bunch of moon monsters. I'm not kidding, this is a movie. What really struck me as weird about this movie is their constant need to remind you that this is all supposed to be real, despite also being a fictional film. Remember when Animal Planet released that supposed documentary about mermaids? That's what this movie was, except about a moon landing. This seemed like a movie that was produced by the History Channel. No joke. What's my specific criticism about it, you ask? Well, for one thing, if they are filming on 8mm film, why was everything in high definition? Why do they keep pimping their own website in the movie? One problem I had was the constant fake-out scary moments. They'd show a shot of a, with tense music and a spotlight showing you where to look, and it was just a rock shifting. Or something stupid like that. Boring. Honestly, this movie wasn't god-awful. I mean, it wasn't written and directed by Tyler Perry, after all. Who <laughs> burned Tyler Perry. <laughs> it had its entertainment value, which is why I'm not giving it a 1. I will give it a 2 Moon Rocks out of 5. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and also follow me on Twitter. <laughs>